could be stressed to a pretty post wall, something of that nature. The child pulls the barrel over, there's enough weight that it will seriously injure the child. And obviously you want it located near your downstairs. Um, your barrel is coming out of several parts. Um, and you're going to have your, uh, your plastic fittings. Uh, if you ever do replace fittings on your barrels and make your own barrels, do not use brass. Rain water is naturally soft and will eat away the brass. You know, I got, have to go to a, a PVC or a, a stainless steel fitting. Obviously PVC because stainless steel is expensive. Uh, these screw right in. In regards to the, uh, the base, there is a small little plastic um, steel to help to, uh, to prevent the leak. Over time, because these guys are sitting in the sun and they're going to be outside during the winter, and I'll talk about winterizing in a moment, plastic is doing this all day long, every day. Okay. Eventually you're going to get a bit of a leak. You can do one of two things. You can replace it with a garden hose rubber uh, uh, washer or use an aquarium seal. Aquarium seal is non-toxic. That way you know you're not leaching water into your, uh, uh, leaching chemicals into water that you're using to uh, water your vegetables. On the top is your overflow. Some of them I've noticed today is a little tight. If you find the jars are tight and you can't get it on, use sandpaper, don't use a knife. Okay, you got a nice round, perfectly round bowl. Okay, use a little bit of sandpaper, it won't take much to get it to fit. Alright, this is this hole in the top is only for overflow. There's no okay. Um, if you're gonna daisy chain more than one barrel, daisy chain them on the bottom. Go to home hardware for like a buck eighty nine, get the little wide split, and these are all standard garden hose fitting on these. Okay, daisy chain at the bottom. That way when you're using your barrels, you're using all your barrels, not one stain full all the time, going stagnant, and eventually you're going to get algae in front of your little thing. Uh, and you're only you using the water in the second one. Um, overflow is obviously away from the foundation. North Bay gets two types of rain. We get the little bit of rain that lasts us for about 48 hours. And then we get the big deluge, especially in July and August, where you get 50 millimeters of rain in an hour. Uh, it's going to overflow. Okay, there's no rain barrel out there that's going to withstand that volume, okay? So don't panic if you're not capturing all the water that's coming in off your eaves trough. Uh, there will be events like that. Care and maintenance, um, the um, winterization is really tricky. Drain all the water out of it, turn your barrel upside down, you're done, okay? <laughs> Leave the water in it, it will split, okay? This is above ground, it will freeze right through, and it will expand. I had a gentleman said earlier this morning that his split and he saw going in the water would freeze at the top and then push up. That's a lake, but it's not a lake, it's a big barrel. Um, you do have screens to come with your barrels. Uh, screens for two reasons. Obviously one, mosquitoes, everybody's familiar with West Nile. The other one is chipmunks. Chipmunks will get into your barrel and drown. They get thirsty. Alright. Now, I don't like the color. What do I do about it? Um, there's one thing you can do is wash the barrel with dish soap and water and use krill on. It's a stinky aerosol paint, color paint. You can do it in many colors, but it has an acid in it which helps it grip to the barrel and it's um, flexible paint. Okay? The lids don't bother painting them. They're a different type of plastic. They will peel over time. So if you insist that you have to have your barrel a specific color, uh, use a krill on paint. Uh, outside for sure, because this stuff is horrible to work with, if you have to paint your barrel. Um, so, location, obviously near a downspout, uh, good solid base, strap it to something that's sturdy, so if children are curious, you know, they're going to look at it, they're going to pull it over, and somebody may get hurt, make sure you drain it in the fall and turn it over, so you, you know, you get years and years of use out of your barrel. Um, and I've told you a couple of other things. If you want to go out and make your own, I mean, for 55 bucks, you're laughing, okay? This is, this is a great deal. Um, but if you just to make your own, Can no brass, number two plastic, HDP, you'll see it right on your barrel, HDP. Oh, make sure it's a pickle barrel. I've run into uh, some of these guys that selling olive barrel. They look exactly the same. The problem is, the plastic is impregnated with oil on the inside, vegetable oil, you'll be forever cleaning it. Don't get trapped. Okay, it has to be a pickling barrel. These are pickling barrels. Any questions? Well, any questions? Would you put that on the fan? 
If you put it on the stand, you have to ensure that it's going to take at least 500 kilograms of weight. Oh yeah. Okay. Again, the tipping is my most... With the 4x4 could be good. Yeah, 4x4 with some sort of size support, okay? Yeah. So okay. the child cannot pull the barrel on top of himself. Yeah, thank you. Question over here? Thank you very much for buying a rain barrel. And actually, in about a year's time, we'll start paying for itself because we're all going on metering. So. Exactly.